Hey everybody, today we are going to learn about variables. Let's first look at what a variable means after all. The dictionary says something that can change. Now, in programming, think of it as a box which can be empty, can have something in it, or whatever is in it can be replaced with something else. But why do we need this box? Like you keep something safe in a box, in programming, you can use it to save values that you will need to remember later. Like a cricket score, a count of times I have read one book, or someone's name. In programming, these boxes are called variables. Of course, with the special condition that this box or a variable can hold only one type of information. A variable of type integer can hold only integers and helps us in counting. The integer is therefore called a data type. Other popular data types are float to hold fractional numbers, character to hold a single character, and string to hold a whole word or a string. So what will be the data type of the variable if you were to store a letter A in it? A character, yes. If you want to save the flavor of your favorite ice cream, you will use a string. Hmm, still confused? Let's see an example. We want to use a variable to save a cricket score. It will be of data type integer as it is a number. Now we need a name for the variable also. So let's call it i score. We start off i score with the value 0. So here we are assigning a value 0 to i score. Now if a 6 is scored in the cricket match, the score will be i score equal to 6. Now that's easy. But now I score 2 more and then another 2 or maybe 1 and the cricket match is really long. So it's really simple if I just add it to whatever value is in I score. So here we say I score equal to I score plus 2. So now I score will be 8. A cricket match is really long but our friend I score will remember the score for us. Yay! It's time to try our hands on coding variables. Here we open up Avishkar Maker Studio and look for variable context. There it is. As we can see, there are a few options here. First one is create variable. Before you can use a variable in a program, you must create it. For this, you need to first pick the data type for the kind of value you want to save in it. You see some familiar data types like integer, character, and float. But you also see some new ones like unsigned integer and unsigned character. An unsigned integer and character allows you to store non-negative data and increases the maximum value it can hold. Next up are declare and define variable blocks. They almost always come together. You cannot define a variable before declaring it. Declaring means telling the program that you will be using this variable in the program. Define will give the variable its starting value. Now that you have a value in your variable, you can use it by the variable value block. So go ahead and use this in loops or calculations or wherever you want. There is another special block available that allows you to change the value in the variable anytime during a program. So. What do you think this little program here we have will display the value as? Yes, we see that it is 5. Hope you learned something new today. Happy making!